There were about 200 applicants and I think they only accepted 14. So maybe you can do a call for 88 people, you know? <laughs> so I would say it's not very inclusive. The best part about studying at the ETH? Uh, <laughs> that's a, it's a difficult question. Hola a todos. Hola Leute. We are Claudia and Jan and today we are here at ETH University in Zurich to ask students what is the best and the worst of studying at ETH. This is one of the best universities in the whole world and we want to know firsthand what the students think about this university. So if you are interested in this kind of content, please subscribe to our channel, give a like to this video and this said, let's go. Let's go. I'm Mo. Oh, very nice to meet you. And where are you from? I'm from Switzerland. I live here in Zurich. Very nice. And what are you studying? I study medicine in my first years of bachelor's. So it must be intense. Um, it, is. <laughs> it is. So what is the best of studying at ETH here in Zurich? Uh, it's very structured. One benefit is that at the end of the term you have uh, two months to study the things you should learn. And this gives you quite a lot of time to dive into the material. So Anika, what are you studying? I'm studying computer science. And what would you say is the best of studying at DDH? Um, I think for me, because I want to do visual computing within computer science, it's the university that I found that has like the broadest offers in that range. Other universities tend to not have a lot of courses in that area. And then what is maybe the worst thing of studying at ETH? Actually it's the same thing, the two months, because, because you can see it's great weather and uh, <laughs> in about two minutes I'm heading right back into the building to study until 10 and I was studying I'm studying since eight, so <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's very intense. I mean, I would say it's generally pretty challenging. You have to invest a lot of time in the material, which is interesting, mm. but it can also like take a, a lot of time that you could spend otherwise. Uh, my name is Yannick. Very nice to meet you. And where are you from? Uh, from Bern. Bern, very nice. So a Swiss guy. I'm studying mechanical engineering, first year. And so Yannick, what is the best of studying at ETH? I would say the, the opportunities you have. It's a very wide field of things you can do afterwards. Why have you decided to study at ETH and maybe not in Bern or at another university? Because in Bern there are no possibilities to study technical um, subjects, unfortunately. I would have studied in Bern if there was that possibility. So I'm not exactly at ETH because of their rankings and their name and everything, more because that's the only place I can really do it. The other possibility would have been in Lausanne, mm. but I'm not that good in French, so I'm here instead. Ricardo, very nice to meet you. And where are you from? Nice to meet you. From Italy. Ah, wow, great, so cool. Um, and what are you studying? I'm studying mechanical engineering uh, to my master's here at TTH. In your first or second year? Um, I'm finishing my first year. Okay, very great. So what would you say is the best of studying at ETH? Well, um, for sure, uh, I would say the people. You find a lot of highly motivated people. Um, everyone is uh, extremely good at what uh, they are doing. You also have uh, much smaller classes. We are like in, uh, in the majority of the courses here at the Masters, you are like in uh, 30 people, uh, if compared to 200. And uh, also this uh, helps a lot. Okay, very interesting. And what would you say then is the worst of studying at ETH? Uh, maybe it is a bit time consuming and uh, also to me uh, you feel a bit the, the pressure um, to, to be performing well every time. What is then the worst of studying at ETH? Um, I would say all the competition because it's very competitive and um, for if, if you're good it's a good thing but <laughs> if you're not so good or average then you feel very pressured about everything so I would say it's not very inclusive what do you mean with inclusive um, well for people who maybe have to sustain themselves with working next to studying uh, or who aren't that good in German or English or who aren't that good in math then it's very hard to keep up but for people who have had a great um, primary school education, then it's easier. So, hello, Kevin. Hi. <laughs> what did you study at DDH? I studied uh, electrical engineering and information technology. And after your experience at DDH, what would you say is the best of studying here? I think especially in the masters that you have a really 
international environment mm. and you get to meet a lot of people quality of education is quite good and also opportunities afterwards I would say today we have with us Josh nice to meet Hi. you <laughs> Hi. And Josh, what did you study at the TH? Uh, I, I study physics. Physics, wow. And what do you think is the best of studying in ETH? The best part about studying at the ETH? Uh, <laughs> that's a, it's a difficult question. I feel like a, in theory there's tons of things that you can do. Mm. There's, limitless, uh, there's limitless options to, to do more. In the sense of like, if you want to really understand everything, they will teach you everything. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, okay. you know, the idea of, you know, you want to know stuff about physics and you could really feasibly learn so much about physics. Mm, because the professors are so good and you have so many resources. Well, it's not because I, I don't know if it's specifically that, that that makes it special. It's more the idea that uh, that the, the courses are so expansive in the sense of what mm. you're supposed to know that you could, if, if you feasibly do everything, you could actually, at the end, really say that you understand it. Okay. And not just say, I kind of know what it is. You could actually say, I understand the theory behind every, everything that, you know, as physics works today. And what could you say is the worst of studying at DTH? The first few years are quite intense and you have to, okay, like, um, you have a lot of courses, a lot of exercises and then it's difficult to balance everything so you may not really learn as much as you think just because you have to cover so much. Mm. And would you say that like after the workload at the university you are able also to make friends and socialize after class? I would say so, definitely, yeah. You just have to also do something for it, but I think it's possible. And overall, would you choose again to study at DT8? Uh, yeah, I would say so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And That's what fun. would you say is the worst part of DT8? Well, I'd argue it's about the same. Uh, <laughs> the idea of, you know, uh, the course is, is set on, set by that idea that you're supposed to know everything at the end. Mm. And I guess that's also the daunting task of actually trying to learn everything, and it's it's a lot, um, and that that can be good and that can be really bad because mm. it forces you to try to learn everything, even though without you know you could still feasibly you know understand physics on a of course on a worse level, but still at a at a very reasonable level by doing less, and sometimes you'd understand more because if there's just so much information. And you don't, and you can't process it all. Then you kind of end up with a with a result where you don't really understand half any of it. Then okay. you know. Okay. And overall, like, uh, would you choose again ETH? I don't know. Uh, I guess it depends. Maybe not physics. Mm. So what other degree? Uh, I have something with less math in it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. Uh, my name is Kang Le. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And where are you from? Uh, I come from China. China. Yeah. Wow. A long way. <laughs> uh, sure, sure. So what would you say is the best of studying at ED8? Uh, well, I think the um, uh, environment here is very good. You know, a lot of students around you, you can communicate or uh, discuss the academic questions with your friends uh, okay. frequently so you can solve your problem very soon so so you have like a nice community of students that can help you yeah like, sure, sure, sure. university yeah what are you studying uh, we are doing computer science both of us mm -hmm. so first year second year uh, second year yeah. what is the best of studying at ETH I would say this view <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and also like I like the uh, the material from the courses and uh, the opportunities we get uh, here. You always find uh, nice uh, literature to look up from very helpful people which uh, spend hours to write their solutions and um, also like there's a lot of helpful people here like people really like spend time to help you figure out stuff. Yeah. Like other students or the university provides that, the administration? Other students mostly. What would you say is the worst of studying here? Uh, well, actually, I think <laughs> the, the food oh. uh, provided by ETH should be improved. And uh, I think it's a little bit expensive and uh, it's not as tasty as somewhere else. So. Okay, so what do they offer and what would you prefer? Uh, you mean food? Yeah. 
Um, I think maybe it's better to provide um, uh, various food from around the world so a lot of uh, people around the world can choose their local foods. It's, it's hard to see Chinese food here so yeah. I usually cook by myself. So Okay, so maybe you can do a call for 88 people, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, change your food! <laughs> okay. So if you would choose again a university, would you choose again ETH? Uh, yes, I would. If I would study the same, yes. I'm not sure if I would study the same again, but uh, if I would study the same again, I would definitely study it here. So uh, if, I have, if I can choose again, I, I will choose ETH and uh, definitely. Okay. It's a very... Um, excellent university. I would say so we have a lot of opportunities especially in terms of like sports and all we have a good amount of student unions and all that so. So Levi where are you from? I'm from the United States. Nice and what do you study at DT8? Computational science and engineering in the master's program. Nice and what would you say is the best of studying here? I definitely think the talent, both of the other students and the professors, is, is top-notch. Um, it's great to learn from some of the people who are really like leading the world in the field. Wow, okay. And what would you say, in your opinion, that is the worst of studying at DT8? Uh, at the same time, a lot of the professors get more caught up in their research than actually oh. teaching. So. Um, sometimes you're relying on other students uh, to learn the course together rather than uh, learn from mm. the lecture material. Uh, you have to really make an effort to, to get in with a professor. Yeah, my undergraduate experience was that uh, class sizes were much smaller mm. and uh, you could go directly to the professor just in their office during office hours or outside of office hours right. and they were usually very receptive. And how many students are you more or less in your classes? Um, it ranges from like 150 up to, uh, I think the largest class I had was over a thousand people. Wow. So. Amazing. What do you do the classes <laughs> in a football pitch or what? Yeah, basically. <laughs> okay. Yeah, in a huge lecture hall. Jonas, what did you study at DT8? Physics. Physics. Yeah. Okay, cool. Where are you from? I'm from Switzerland. What do you think is the best of studying at DT8? What, uh, phew. I think you learn a lot, that's probably the best. I, you have great people here, uh, people that are eager to learn new things and also mostly great professors. Mm. I think that's the best, yeah. And how is the like social life at DT8? Like, do you have the chance to meet a lot of people, to do cool activities? Yeah, in principle you have. It's always a bit hard because you have to, at DT8 you have to study a lot. Also, normally, uh, the exams are in June, but at ETH it's all, uh, in August, and therefore you have less time for like other stuff to do in the summer and in the in the winter as well. And so, yeah, there are great opportunities to meet other people and people from different cultures, but mm -hmm. you kind of don't have time to do that. And like coming from the US, like how did you choose to study here at ETH? Yeah, I, uh, I lived in Germany when I was in high school as an exchange student, mm -hmm. so I had coming back to Europe on my mind. Um, and there was a professor here that I wanted to work with, and uh, when I got the opportunity to join, join the, the students here, I, you know, I made that a goal, and so I'm working with them right now. Nice! So, yeah, it's enjoyable. And like overall, would you choose again ETH? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. It's a top-notch experience. It puts a lot more on you, but uh, if you want to put in the effort, you can, you can really make it worthwhile in the end. Wow. So it and can be quite difficult. Congratulations yeah, then. Yeah. <laughs> and like, what would you say is the worst thing of studying in this university? Yeah, this, the exams in the August, that's probably the worst thing, mm. because it takes away all, all of your summer. And was it hard for you to get into the university? Uh, no, when you when you have when you do a matura in Switzerland, then you already ca get accepted at every university in Switzerland. So no, wow. you can go f for free. You don't have to do exa an exam. Was it difficult for you to get into ETH? Um, 
Well, I was not planning it really, so I just uh, applied for it, and uh, no, not much. You you just have to ask for a couple of uh, reference letters and uh, have a good level of uh, of your GPA. But uh, yeah, then it's quite okay. You don't need any admission tests. And there were not like a lot of people who applied for the same like degree as you, and there was a limited amount of spots. Or uh, there is not a fixed amount of people that can join. There is no specific limit. Uh, they just uh, there is a admission panel, and they choose, uh, yes, based on your documents. And was it hard to get into the, this university? Uh, absolutely, yeah. Um, I mean, just for my program, mm -hmm. I know that. Uh, there were about 200 applicants and I think they only accepted 14. Actually, uh, in Switzerland we have the system like in Germany uh, where you have to do a kind of a numerus clausus. You write a test as everyone else who wants to get into medicine in general and then depending on your test result distributed on the, on the universities according to your preferences and your score. Mm. So ETH it isn't very popular yet because everyone fears these two months and fears the math we have to study here. It's not that bad, but yeah. So you say it's not the most popular, so it's not too crazy difficult, you said, kind of to get in? It's still difficult to get it's, in, I suppose. It's, yeah, it's difficult to get into medicine, but if you pass the test, the hardest is the University of Zurich, ETH is less difficult to get in, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, wow, very interesting. I didn't yeah. know that. Well, this was truly interesting to ask people who actually really study, students here at ETH, to know from them firsthand what do they think is the best and the worst of studying at ETH. The three main points we think we got from this video in terms of positive points are that it's really a great university if you want to learn a lot. You can learn as much as you want and it seems to be like the possibilities of learning are infinite. Second, uh, these universities apparently offer very, very good facilities in terms of you have great gyms and you have the possibility to join great clubs sport clubs or even join a club where you can sail on the lake of Zurich. This is really good and really great. Yeah. And the third point is that it seems to be like a really international environment and here are really bright minds. So you're among an environment, environment which is very international, very smart, which can just lift you up. And maybe in the worst part of things like some people said that they have so much to learn in so many exams that like they don't really have so much time to socialize throughout the year. Also they said that he here they have the exams on August and that means that they have to study throughout the summer instead of other universities here in Switzerland where you study, where you do the exams in June. So yeah, maybe that's a downside. Like to spend the whole summer just studying, that's a little bit, could be better. Yeah, we have such a nice day today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another negative point which was mentioned I think by most of the people is the pressure and the competition you have here. Mm. You're among an international environment with a lot of bright minds, as I said before, is a positive point. But this is yeah. also one of the negative points because you have a lot of competition within your university and there is a lot of pressure to perform. Everybody feels like I have to be the best in class, I have to perform really well, I have to pass these classes and some of these classes I guess are super hard. Right. I've never studied in TH but I've heard uh, they are very hard and time consuming classes. So so this can also be a very negative point maybe for your social well-being yeah. or your mental well-being since you are kind of pressured as a student to always perform and uh, pass all of these exams while other people maybe go on holidays yeah, exactly. during these great summer days. And <laughs> I mean like being all the time surrounded by brilliant minds can be like super inspiring and motivating but at the same time also can bring you down sometimes because maybe you were the best in your class in high school and then you come here to the university and you actually realize that you are not the greatest you know maybe so you're just the uh, number three now and not anymore the number one and a very important point the the Chinese guy he needs more Chinese food in ETH so please <laughs> ETH listen to this guy and bring more Chinese food or we would appreciate it or just international food or just international for food. all kind of cultures yeah. apparently. paella is also accepted paella is also accepted yeah. <laughs> great okay with this said thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed watching this video please consider liking this video and subscribe to our channel and if you want to support us even more please share this video with your friends and your loved ones with this said thank you very much and see you next week